key to success is caring for them and helping them, mentoring them, and generally being involved in their lives in a positive way after they come out of prison. At the moment, we have a big problem in that the system doesn't really do proper through care or rehabilitation, and so it leaves most offenders just to get going by themselves. And those who extend a helping hand to ex-prisoners who want to go straight in terms of advice, caring, listening to them, and above all, helping them over life's difficult hurdles like finding a job. Uh, that's the best way to reintegrate prisoners back into society. Now, there are good people in this field, but they're too few and far between. And three cheers for that growing number of employers uh, who are willing to interview and assess and often take on uh, ex-offenders. And you can be very surprised sometimes where this is happening. Um, some of the big companies like Sainsbury's have branches which have very satisfactorily employed uh, ex-prisoners. Perhaps the best one of all is Timpson's, where the boss man himself, Mr. Timpson, James Simpson, makes a point of trying to employ uh, people who've fallen foul of the law. There are one or two charities, Blue Sky, which does a splendid job. Uh, there is a small company, Fraser Tilliard, run by Tom Tilliard, which specializes in employing ex-offenders on building sites and building and construction and redecoration work. So there are success stories in this field, but on the whole, the vast majority of um, managers uh, shudder away and play it super cautious, super safe. Yeah. Um, and this climate is changing, but um, we all need to work at it and say, you know, lots of us at various stages in our lives have needed a second chance. It's perhaps the most dramatic second chance for somebody coming out of jail. But um, those people can often make first-class workers and employees and entrepreneurs.